And then after that, our next youngest would be this one here. And then they grow a little bit bigger. So when they are four or anywhere in between four and 12, I would say this one here. And then the next oldest is this one. And then the next oldest would be this one. And the oldest of all of them would be this one here. So now that we've ordered them, I'm going to reveal the names of these stages. So can you again pause the video and think about which title goes with which picture or which stage in life? Have you had a go? Fabulous, let's have a look then. Let's move this down so we've got a bit more space. Lovely, right, so baby, we talked about the baby being first. When we're born, we are babies. What would we call this stage then? They're not quite old enough to be a child yet. They are a, can you find the word? Toddler, well done if you said that they are a toddler. And then toddlers turn into children. So this is when you are a child. This is the stage that you're at now. And then the next stage would be a teenager. From 13 to 17, you are a teenager. So this is when you're in secondary school and when you're in college. And then after you're a teenager, you become an adult. And then in your adulthood, you reach old age. Well done if you got those right. Okay, so this is the life cycle of humans. You can see here, and it goes round in a circle. Now we can represent the stages of our lives in a cycle to represent growth and change. So you can see how humans grow and change during their lives by looking at our life cycle. But you can also see how the life cycle links together um, through the lives of other people because um, babies are born, they grow into toddlers, toddlers grow into children, children grow into teenagers, teenagers grow into adults, and then when you're an adult, you might decide to have um, a baby yourself, in which case the life cycle starts again, and when you reach adulthood, you will then reach old age. But even though humans um, are changing through these stages, it's really important to remember that Humans change continually and gradually every day within these changes. So if we go back to our timeline, and I'll explain what I mean a little bit more, it's not like babies are born and then suddenly they turn one and then become a, and then become a toddler and everything happens overnight. Or, um, you know, teenagers reach 18 and then suddenly everything changes and they're, you know, happens overnight. These changes that happen during this, this phase happen gradually. That means very, very slowly, a little bit at a time over the years that you are in that stage. You don't wake up one morning and suddenly have white hair, or you don't wake up one morning and, you know, suddenly have wrinkles or or have spots on your skin if you're a teenager for example these are things that happen over a long period of time so thinking about these stages then baby toddler child teenager adult and old age what do you already know about these stages i know that some of you might have baby cousins or brothers and sisters um you will have grandparents you might have big brothers and sisters or cousins who are teenagers, um, your mums and dads will be adults. So have a think. What do you already know about people in these stages? What are babies like? What are toddlers like? What are children like? What are teenagers like? What are adults like? And what are elderly people like? Great, hopefully you've got some ideas for that. If not, keep the video paused a little bit longer. 
Okay, let's have a look at these life stages then. So the human life cycle starts as a baby. Babies can't do anything for themselves and they need to be cared for by an adult. Up until they're six months old, babies only drink milk and that milk contains everything that they need to be able to grow. Babies need lots of sleep uh, because they're growing so fast they need to sleep lots. Uh, babies can't talk, so they communicate their needs by crying. So think about babies that you know. Can What do babies need help with? They need help with eating. They need help with getting dressed. They need help with moving. They need help even supporting their head from the very moment they're born. So babies need lots of support from adults who care for them because they can't do anything for themselves. And then the next one, then toddlers. So this is the age where babies start to walk. So um, when babies reach about one year old, they then start to learn how to walk. And this is the time when they become toddlers. But not just learning how to walk, lots of things happen in this time as well. For example, they start to grow their teeth and they learn to talk and they might learn how to do a few more things for themselves. For example, they might be able to start feeding themselves or they might be able to start um, putting a jacket on, for example, and, and moving around by themselves. The next one then, this is the stage where you're at. As a child, you start learning to be more independent. So that word means independent. You do it for yourself. No one does it for you. You do it for yourself. Um, you also start to go to school and learn things like reading and writing and your maths. So have a think about something that you can do now that you couldn't do before. So remember, when you're a child, which is the stage you're right now, you're starting to do lots more things for yourself. So um, think about things that you can do now that you've learned to do. For example, fastening your buttons or your zip. Maybe it's tying your shoelaces. Um, maybe it's writing your name. All these things that you've learned how to do that you couldn't do before. Lovely. And I'd love to see you send those through to your class email um, account too. Okay, then. So teenage stage. This is where you start getting ready for adulthood. Now, adulthood is the time in your life when you are an adult. So teenagers are getting ready for adulthood. Your body changes a lot during this time because of something in your body called hormones. Now, hormones are like chemicals in your body. Think about last week when we learned about exercise and your uh, brain released a chemical that makes you happy when you exercise. Well, your body is releasing hormones, which are like chemicals in your body that um, you need to function properly. So there's lots of hormones moving around in your body um, when you are a teenager. And because teenagers are growing so quickly, they might need to eat lots and sleep lots as well. Now, during this stage, you're more independent than when you were a child. So you might uh, walk to school by yourself, you might go out um, to the shops by yourself, you might, even when you're a teenager, you can start learning how to drive. So there's lots of things where you are more independent, you might get a part-time job, but then you're still dependent on your parents for something. So dependent is the opposite of independent. So even though you're more independent as a teenager, you still need your parents for some things, maybe like uh, cooking or paying bills, for example. Now, the next stage is adulthood. This is when you are fully grown. When you are an adult, you can be independent. So that means that you can go and get a job, you can earn your own money, you can buy your own house, you can drive your own car, and um, you can be completely independent and do things for yourself. At some point, adults might have a baby of their own and then the life cycle starts again, just like we saw here. If you have a baby of your own then the life cycle starts again for that person. And old age is the later stage of being an adult. 
when you reach old age, you can retire. Now, retire means that you can stop going to work. You've earned enough money that you don't need to go to work anymore and you can spend some time with your family and maybe on some hobbies that you enjoy. Elderly people are not as strong as they were when they were younger and they can get tired a little bit more easily. However, they can still have lots of fun and still be very active. Lovely. So this is your task for today then. This sheet is available on the Byronwood School website and it's an interactive sheet where you can physically drag the pictures to the stages of the life cycle. So think about... So you will notice that there are six boxes on there for our six life stages. Now this one here is the first box. So the first stage of life is the baby. So the baby would go there. Now this is the one star challenge. So on the one star challenge, you've also got the, the names and the ages as well. So for example, the first stage of life is this picture here being represented. It is the baby. So then I would put baby here. And I know that the baby is at birth to one year. There we go. So then... I would drag the, the right one to the box and then the right name and age range underneath it or above it, depending on where those are. So this picture here, you would drag whatever the name of that next stage is to these lines here. So that's the one star challenge. This is available to download on the Byron Wood School website. The two star challenge then is the same thing. First stage goes here, the rest of them go in order except you need to type on that line the name of the stage and the age. So then here, that's very big. On the line, you would type the word baby and you would type zero to one year. There you go. And you would do that for the others as well. And then if you finish the two star challenge, and you want to go onto the extension, this is an opportunity for you to do some writing. So the extension is for you to write some sentences when you are a, so then we would write a capital letter at the start of your sentence, when you are a, now when you are a, this line here is going to be filled with one of the live stages. So for example, when you are a baby, comma, you. Now, what happens when you are a baby? When you are a baby, you need an adult to care for you. You need need an adult to care, care for you. There you go. So when you are a baby, you need an adult to care for you. Um, and then I would write a different sentence. When you are a toddler, so capital letter, when you are a toddler, comma, you, what happens when you are a toddler? You learn to walk. Or I could say you grow teeth. I'm going to say you learn to walk there you go so when you are a toddler you learn to walk full stop and we're going to write a sentence for each stage describing what happens in that stage when you are a child you start going to school you learn how to read um you are more independent than when you were a toddler when you are a teenager you can get a job when you are a teenager, um, you are getting ready to become an adult. When you are an adult, you are independent. You go to work to earn money. So lots of things that you can say about these stages in your life. Well done, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. Please send this work to your class email account. Even if you're only sending one piece of work in the week, 
this is the work that I would like to see from you. So thank you everybody for listening and we'll see you after the half term for some more science. Bye everyone.